Uh, it's eating the bees. That's how that's how hardcore it is. It's eating bees. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Crossroads in here in the new mulligan where I'm just putting up some bug repellent things. I don't know what they are or what they do, but allegedly they get rid of bugs, which would be nice because everyone is walking in here infested with fleas or bed bugs or some other horrible, horrible six-legged manifestation. The new bathroom is going over very, very well. Very well. People are loving this, and they're paying a lot of money just to have a bath. It's probably because they're infected with fleas. What I'd like to do is build up a little bit of guldens over here. Get the money ticking in. Maybe not blow it all on bug repellent and decorations. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Come here. Why are you running? What What did you do? Did you steal something? Did you steal something, Bonaventura? Why are you running? Slow things down a little bit here. Yeah, you're running. You've done something naughty, haven't you? Better news, we're making our own candles now, which is excellent. That's going to really help on our long-term costs. Yeah, I just put a bunch of candles down over here. Those candles are a fortune, and we're going to need a lot of them over time. So we got the bees. We got the candle maker, who's he what's it over here, the big tub over here. Is that you, server? Is that, is that what you're... Oh, no, it's Ciro. Ciro, you're making some candles. Okay, good man. I appreciate your hard work around here. That's going to help with the long-term cost quite a bit. So I'd like to tick the money up and see if maybe, if people are so into the bathroom, maybe we make one bigger one, like a multiple bath bathroom kind of thing. It won't be private, but it'll get the job done. We got one fame point from somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where. What would be wise to put that into? Something else growing might be nice. Carrots, I don't know, grapes. What can we do here? Cider production? That's fine, but we, we'd have to get apples in, so that's one cost right there. What are we doing over here? A fireplace? That might be nice. People would dig that. What is this? Oh, potatoes. Potatoes might be fun. Everybody likes potatoes. Well, what do we got here? 50% faster when they move on the world map. Meh, it's okay. A uh, number of employees looking for a job might be nice because a lot of my employees are terrible. Or building rooms is lowered by 50 guldens. That would really go towards my bigger bathroom area. Oh, it seems so boring to take that. But I might take that. And what do we got over here? Unlocks washers. I'm pretty sure we've got one. We've got a functional bathroom game. Yeah, I'm just going to flat out get potatoes. Let's just get potatoes. We'll have potatoes over here. We've got a plot over here that I don't think I'm doing anything with. Uh, yeah, let's get potatoes in there. Turnips and potatoes. Wow. That is a starchy, starchy meal there. That is going to sit in your belly like lead. Ah, you're enjoying one of our nicer beds. Good. I'd like you to pay more for the nicer bed. 4047 on the old Gurdens here. Okay, I could sit and just accumulate some money and possibly pay off that loan. Or I could blow that all on a bigger bathroom. What do we think is going to happen here? Yeah, 200 Gurdens to take a bath. That's phenomenal. That is gr We should be doing way more bathy things around here. Go to... How much space do I have on this side of the mulligan? Zero. Zero space. Okay. Um, yeah. That's really where I'd like to put it. I suppose I could spend my next fame point to unlock some more land. I'd prefer not to if I didn't have to, but it is a thought. Or... I could do something off the dormitory here. I'd like to save that for extending the main hall. But I can always shuffle some things around. Alright, hold tight. Hold tight on that. Get back to work. I just have to have a little bit of a think about where Mega Bathroom's gonna go. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep upgrading the dormitory a little bit. That's some small costs that I can absorb fairly easily. So... One more slightly nicer bed in there. It's going to be more comfortable. People will like it. It might not catch on fire quite as often. Just slowly upgrading the dormitory here. Maybe a decoration of some sort in here. I'm not really sure what, but something. These guys love flowers. We could put some flowers up over here. It's not 
it's not my ideal, but we could put some flowers up over here. Right over the bed. There you go. You uh, Actually, probably not right next to the fire. Flowers and fire are notorious enemies. So maybe we move that between the torches instead of right next to the torches. And as everyone's just left for the day, let me just pick off these last two beds here. So we'll do one like that and one like that. Okay, that's looking a little bit better in here. Little tiny upgrades as things go on. Yeah, you're loving it. You're loving it, man. I can't click on you anymore. I can only click on your bed. But you look super, super comfy. Every, okay, this is less less good. Probably when... Okay, when you rent the room, you got to put the thing on the door that says do not disturb. Otherwise, the, the house cleaning people come in and make the bed. Do you not know how hotels work, sir? Well, the candle thing is working out great. We already got 80 candles in stock. Fat is looking a little low, as are apples. In fact, a lot of things are kind of dropping here. Moonshine we could use. Sausages we're almost out of. I'm probably going to have to do an order sooner rather than later. I wonder if while I'm doing that, if there's anywhere on the world map we could maybe just get a new recipe. That might be kind of fun. What have you got? Fried Brussels. Okay, fried Brussels sprouts. Right, right on. Brussels sprouts, whatever those are. And fat. I can't click on that. Sorry, Ciro. I can't click on that to find out what it is. Uh, how about the bandit camp? Yeah, let's go to a bandit camp. And get a recipe. Griffin berry pie. Well, we do a lot. We do eggs. We've got eggs. We've got chickens. That's likely flour, I would assume. And berries of some sort. Can I acquire berries from... What is your new recipe? Oh, that's just the painting. Okay. Yeah, you've got a new painting. Cool. Uh, do you guys have berries over here? Is that a thing that you do? No, it is not. And your price on sausages is outrageous. I will not pay that, sir. Oh, I think that's cabbages, not Brussels sprouts. Okay, fair enough. Nope, don't need your eggs. Got my own. What's your price on moonshine? Pretty pricey. Moonshine's pretty pricey everywhere, as I recall. Gilly Gore, we're open up, opening up a lot more markets here lately, which is great. Nobody actually has the things I need, but the idea is sound. What do we got way up in Unterbras? We've got, I know I don't have enough things. What, how many things would I need to get something going up there? I need five blue scrolls. Well, I've got that. I think we will, we will do that. Highest quality goods in the city. I'll need more to get up to a trade route. Hmm. All right, hold off on that. Let's, let's accumulate some more scrolls before we go for that. Sweet Meadow, what's going on over here? You got berries? Nope, you got cabbages. Those are pretty much the... The polar opposite of berries, aren't they? Oh, Ricodi, I could get a trade route right away for five blue scrolls. So I'm going to do that. Let's get that going. Uh, I've, I'm the wolf of your veil, apparently. How about horse market? What are you doing these days? You have got... Well, you got grapes. I'm making grapes, though. I'm growing grapes. I'm not actually making them. The grapes are making the grapes, really. But I'm just sort of growing them. And then what do we need for this? 20 green or 500 gurden. The thing is, you don't really have anything else remarkable. I can do a lot of this. I can't, actually. I can do the eggs and the candles. I can't do anything else. But you don't really have anything stunningly exotic that I want to get down with. Well, I grabbed a couple of things, fat and sausages and apples and that kind of thing while I was out and about. But no, nobody seems to have berries right now. Uh, you're taking a bath. Good. That'll pay for some of the order I just flew out the door there. Yeah, this is... The bathroom thing is working out great. I gotta find a way to get Mega Bath in operation here. Maybe something right here. Maybe I could start to build it. And then slowly put it together over time. Yeah, you enjoyed your bath to the tune of 228 guldens. This is... This is the money maker right here. Just cleaning people up. Alright, what if we did this a little bit differently? What if I removed... Can I remove two sections of the guest room? There and there. Maybe a third. This was, what, two tiles in here, and I got a perfectly functional bathroom out of that. I'm going to give this a shot. Let's build another bathroom here and here and see how this is all going to play out. Uh, am I doing the jail door again? Probably not. What's what's this door here? Is this, Are we indoors? Am I indoors? I am indoors. Okay. How about, is that what, like a secret door or something? It is. 
I don't know that I like that. No, let's remove that. That doesn't make any sense at all. You know what? Let's just keep this one simple. How about just a regular door right there? Okay. Now, this needs to be a bathroom of sorts here. So we needed, what, the changing screen, the toilet, the bath, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Give me a bathtub. Are any of these, like, horribly better than the others? No, they're all basically exactly the same. It's just a different style. Okay. Put this... And again, let's, as many, many people in the comments have reminded me, uh, control to finagle it a little bit better. I always forgot that from the first time I played that. Put this guy right here. Okay, and give me... I mean, I suppose we should have a toilet. It seems like the sort of thing we should have. But let's get the changing screen under control here. Uh, let's, I just want a different one. I know it's a hundred gulden more that I didn't need to spend. But I'm doing it. And throw a little wash basin sort of right there. And then some kind of torch, some kind of light for these people. Otherwise, they're going to get very, very fussy about stumbling around in the dark in the bathroom. As one would. I do too, honestly. that That's totally fair. Put that guy there. And is there any kind of little tiny decoration we could get going on? I don't really have room for much. Maybe not the adult-themed paintings. How about a painting of a fighty person? All right, you will put this guy right in here, anywhere, and there we go, right next to the toilet. You can look at the little fighter guy getting ready to, I don't know, have a fight while you, you do your thing there. And then my overall plan is when I find the room for it, we'll blow out all of this and make one massive bath area, I guess, a communal bath area. You were into that, 200 Gouldens right there, and there's another one coming right in. Two-fisted bathtub action, that's what we, that... That sounded way better in my head than when it came out of my mouth. Yeah, the guest room is shooting up in quality. It's all those slightly nicer beds, and we can upgrade those further. The bathroom's not so much. One and a half star bathroom. How, how good do you need it to be, guys? How about if I put some flowers up, okay? Is that going to help everything? We'll put some flowers up, everybody. Oh, what is that? A panda skin rug? Oh, hang on. Ha oh, yes. I have to have this. I It's got to fit somewhere. You have to make this fit somewhere. I can't not have this. How about here? Anywhere? Anywhere at all. Why do you even need to interact with it? You just need to look at it. I need to own this. Where, where can I make this live? This is ridiculous. You've got to let me have this. No, I can't get it to go anywhere. How about even in the kitchen? Can we get it in the kitchen? Outside? Can it live outside? It can kind of live outside. I probably won't put it outside. Oh, that's phenomenal. I've got to have that. Uh, let's see if we can get something cheaper for the plebs here in my allegedly one and a half star bathroom. How about a chain? I don't know what you need it for in the bathroom. And it's probably best I don't ask. But have one of those. And then we'll get the flowers up because everybody loves the flowers. Hang on. I'm not going to find any spot for those flowers. No. No. No, this is a little jacked in here. Can we get maybe one of the, the little ones to live sort of right... Nah, that doesn't make any sense. I need something on the wall. It's not going to be those, because I'm not going to have the room for that kind of... Oh, I will. Oh, we can hang above the chain. Okay, good. Uh, flowers and chains for everybody. Well, it helped a little bit. We're up to a solid two stars now. I suppose that's better than, well, one star. Room quality one. But room quality, too. I'm a little confused at that. What if we try and... Oh, your, your thing went away. Your number went away. I don't know how much I'm charging you now. Most frustrating. Trying to figure out what is wrong with my counter. You're telling me no available worker. I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, I understand the words when they're put in that order. I don't know what you want to have happen here. Is it broken? Do we need somebody to come over and repair it? Is there just... Not enough things in it. I mean, we are a little light on things here. I mean, we store everything, but what's in it right now? One dirty plate. Okay, are we... Are we having some sort of issue getting the clean plates and mugs over to here? Is that the problem? Do we have a pathing issue, Crossroads? We're kind of famous for that, aren't we? I'm kind of seeing the need for another drudge. Another manual labor around here. Because the only thing stopping people from taking two baths... Well, stopping two people from taking a bath each, really, is where I was going with that, is water. The drudges have got to bring the water over and fill the tank, or the tub, rather. 
and there's only server going back and forth here. Are you washing dishes? Because we seem to have an issue with that. Over, I think I need another drudge. I think that's the pro I need to hire somebody. Uh, let's go to the hiring pool here. Anybody good in the drudge category? category? Reiner, you are a smoker, and that's about all we know out of you. How about Lazaro? Ah, we know everything about Lazaro. You are cheerful. You are dull. Little contradiction there. You're persuasive, and you're a workaholic. Well, I like the sound of you, Lazaro. You seem tailor-made for the new mulligan. Okay, you are in. I know that's a little bit of money I didn't want to spend, but... Jeez, if, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to see you without your clothes on over there. I'm going to take Lazaro and specialize him a little bit. Why don't you not work in the kitchen and not work on farming? And also not carpentry. Is that fixing things? Yeah, fixing. I do want you fixing things. Focus more on the, the sort of the in management kind of stuff. Somebody else will take care of the farm. Probably server. He's very, very good at farming. He loves it. So why don't you focus mostly on carrying stuff around and cleaning up? I think that what is wrong with this counter? What is going on here? We've got still, oh, well, we are, things are happening in it. Is it something above the counter? Is it like the candles or something? What is going on? Why am I getting that little flag there? Can I mark you to be repaired? I mean, I'll up the priority of you if that helps. Oh, we're at a logger. Okay, that figures. That's not surprising at all. Uh, let me go out. What else are we kind of light on around here? Anything catastrophic moonshine? But we don't we don't actually sell that much moonshine. Maybe some more grain for the chickens. Bread. Okay, bread and logger, definitely. And maybe some grain. We'll probably go ahead and feed our chickens. I'm mostly just watching the money tick in with the bathtub thing. I mean, this is just great. Two to, there you go, 216 Goulden, just to have a bit of a scrub up. Do we actually have ale on the menu? That seems like something we should have. I'll get one more thing of cereal while I'm up here. Got a pretty good price on lager and bread up here in Gilligore. I'm going to get a couple of things of ale. Not actually sure we have that on the menu. You could go look, Dave. You could actually just go right here and see if you have ale. It's actually right over here. No, you don't. You could have checked that. And, oh, darn it, I make the order go away. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It's a fairly large order, so I'm going to take a bit of a discount on that. I'm getting some extra mugs and plates in just, just to try and figure out what is wrong with my counter there. Maybe new plates and mugs will help the situation. I checked all my storage back here. We're not full on storage, so it's not a question of we have nowhere to put things. And indeed, the counter itself is basically empty. Not 100% on that. Don't know why that is happening. I'm going to just sort of file that under somebody else's problem until the game starts yelling at me. All right, we got a fame point here, and I'm going to take that on the one that... Yeah, there we go. Cost of building rooms is uh, lowered by 50 guldens. Wasn't there one at 50%? I swear I saw that in here somewhere. No, I was clearly hallucinating that it must have been 50 guldens, and I read it as 50%. Still valuable, though. I'm going to take that, because what I'd like to put up is a small staff room area. Because the gang here, they really don't have anywhere to chill out and relax. And I've got a little spot. Actually, I could tuck that over here. Could I get that to come maybe out here? Hmm. Now, what do I want to do with that space, though? I'm going to have to have a think about that, aren't I? Uh, no, go to go to building, actually. This is what I wanted to do here. And that, that space is gone because it doesn't exist, Dave. It never existed in the first place. You were just imagining it. Uh, where is staff room going to live? Maybe over by the kitchen. With a thought of expanding the kitchen later. So how about the staff room was like that? And then maybe like that? Does that make any degree of sense? Probably not, and I'm going to have to move probably something over here. I bet the game's not going to let me get away with this. We'll see if they can use that door. I'm not sure. Now, what the heck lives in a staff room? I'm pretty sure it's a bed, and that's about it. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm not giving you, like, the super, super nicest bed in the world, but it is, it is a bed, and it will basically fill your needs, kind of. 
a sort of how about a chair you know what let's celebrate the new staff room with some kind of chair you're going to love it it's a stool yeah that's it, it it's just a stool um and maybe a box I could put the darts up, but we all know how that's going to go down. I will give you, um, I'm going to give you some light. I'm actually going to go candles because we've got so darn many of them now. And we're making them thanks to the bees. So you can have a little thing over there. Maybe something to perk. The, how about a heavy stool? That way two of you can sit and have a little conversation about how terrible it is to work here. Now, the door seems to work fine. The game is, oh, you're, you're immediately going to bed. Okay. You're, you're immediately taking a nap. The room wasn't actually finished yet. It's already filthy in here. At least the corner is nice and dark for sleeping. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's awful. We're all clear that it's awful. It's just a terrible, terrible staff room. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's cozy? It's cozy. That's what it is. Cozy. Um, this thing's back. The, the thing that is terrifying bear, reindeer monster thing is it's back uh, it's eating the bees that's how that's how hardcore it is it's eating bees this thing is eat everyone is cowering every no no surprise everyone oh we've we've smashed we smashed the beans now uh, we smashed the tomatoes everyone is terrified this thing exists uh, I'm terrified that this thing exists. I don't really have a solid answer for it right now. Everything is broken. It's going into the outhouse, probably after eating all those bees. It probably has a little gastrointestinal distress. It smashed that. Um, how do we... I can't even click on you. That's how terrifying you are. Well, it seems to have had its fill of bees, and now it's going to have a nap. Uh, is everyone... Everyone's still terrified? Yeah, everyone is broadly still terrified. Uh, you, you're looking kind of chipper. Do you want to get back to work? I know this was a bit of an event that happened here. A terrifying bear, reindeer, monster thing that eats bees uh, is, is, is here, is over in the yard having a nap. But it's over, kind of, uh, unless it comes back, because it is right over there. Uh, you could probably, you could probably start, stop cowering in fear. We've got a lot to fix around here. We've got to go fix the bees. The bees are broken, we, and the potatoes are broken. Somebody go fix the bees and the potatoes. Don't sweat the outhouses too much. Don't make that high priority. We've still got... It's up. It's up. It's awake. It's, um... It's, it's this. Yeah, I think it's, um... It's back for round two. I think we're gonna have another go at the bees. It eats bees. That's very, very, very scary. Uh, you're, I don't think you have anything left to smash. I think you've smashed everything. You can probably just go about your bee-eating business somewhere else. No, don't come back over here. No, no, don't come back over here. We were just getting everything under control. The guy is fixing the outhouse. Ah, you see, no, no, you were running off, but now you're coming back. There's nothing left for you to smash. Smash the guy on the horse. I, I have no emotional attachment to him. Go ahead and smash him. That'll be fine. You're just sort of doing laps. Probably working off all those calories from the bees. Yeah, we're just kind of running in circles. The gang's the gang's back to normal here. Oh, we found something to smash. Yeah, we found something to smash. I don't have an answer for you. I'm sure if I possibly had dogs, they might chase you off. But right now, we're just at your mercy. Maybe, would you like me to put up more bees? Would more bees satisfy you? Well, it's down for a nap again, but that's, that's not going to help if you just keep napping and then eating bees and charging around and destroying everything that I have. Because when you wake up... There will be new things for you to destroy because we're putting everything back together. Could you go away, sir? Could you not, not? No, you've antagonized it. Oh, you've run off. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we probably need dogs around here. Between the boars and the bee-eating bear reindeer, I think we need a dog or two around here. I haven't seen any in a while. There were a couple that came by early, but we didn't tame them. We didn't keep them around. And obviously kitties. I mean, kitties goes without saying, but kitty is not going to be interested in the bee-eating bear reindeer thing because cats aren't interested in much of anything. All right, we're getting the place back up to normal here. Things are being fixed. Almost everything is fixed. What's your problem? Are you out of fuel? Um, I'm going to repair you. You might be broken. Are you out? Of, yeah, I think you're out of fuel. Okay, somebody will get to that. We, we have wood over here somewhere. There's plenty of firewood still ready to go. Although I should start to think about ordering just some more wood in general that we can chop up. Uh, that's a rat. Yeah, that's a rat. 
Okay. Yeah, the bee-eating bear reindeer couldn't eat rats. It has to eat bees, and now we have rats. Fantastic. Well, we're going to need some animals around the place for the constant monster attacks and the boars, and now the rats. I'm just going to have to call them as I see them. If we see some animals come in, we'll try to tame them. I Actually, hang on. I can go do that, right? I can just go get animals somewhere. I know I can. I'm going to have to find them, but I know somewhere around here, I saw somebody right here. That's a kitty. That's going to be less good against boars, but promising against rats. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Crossroads Inn for today. I think I've got to get some animals around here. I think that's my next move, is poke around the local area, see who's got a dog ready for adoption, maybe a kitty as well. Mostly I just want the kitties, but the dogs I kind of need. The boars, the bears, the everything, bee-eating monsters, it's just going to be a bad time unless we get some animals in here to chase them away. Everything will keep getting smashed. So we'll call it on Crossroads in for today. We'll pick up some more of the new mulligan again next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.